Thank you all so much. Uh, my name is Julian Ulrich. I'm the CEO of Arensis, and uh, it's quite an honor and a pleasure to be speaking to you here today. And you guys make it so easy. Because what we do as a company at Arensis, we build small-scale combined heat and power systems. So when you're wondering how to power this tent, 100% from local resources, from wood waste coming around Endover in Southampton, 30 miles from here, carbon neutral, cheaper, and more efficient than anything else, this is what we do at Arensis. So don't blame us for being cold here today. This was not a marketing stunt. It's just happened. But we could solve this, and if you invite us, we're going to solve it by next week. Before Christmas, we get your power system here. We're going to make it really, really nice and warm, and it's going to be more cost-effective, and it's going to be totally local. At Arensis, we build small-scale power systems from bio-waste, bio-energy that you can put right next to your building, an airport, to a hotel, anywhere in the world. We have built over 200 power systems in the United Kingdom over the last 24 months. And it's been an amazing time. We have invested over 45 million British pounds with our partners from all over the world, created over 200 jobs, mainly in the north of England, where they're so desperately needed right now. Right now, power systems are assembled in Liverpool that are shipped to Indonesia, to India, to China, all over the world, making a new export product made in the UK. For us, the UK has become the most important growth market in the world right now. Before I joined the company, I actually used to be in government myself, and I know that it's a really thankless task to write long-term energy regulation. It's quite a dud, to be honest. But I have to say, from our perspective, the UK government has done an exceptional job embracing biomass as a tool of carbon reduction. UK policies have even made a global impact. There's now a higher price for wood pellets. There's investment in force all over the world because of the UK. I would compare it to the impact Germany has made in solar investment in the 1990s and early 2000s. I spend most of my time in Asia where still forests are sacrificed every single day to build plantations. Why are people not investing in their forests? It's because there is no socio-economic impact from this forest right now. It's much higher on a plantation. If by creating a global sustainable pellet industry, we don't only reduce the carbon footprint in the UK, we do it globally, and that with rather little money invested. UK policies have given high innovative, highly efficient technologies like ours, a fighting chance to make a global impact for a better energy supply. For that, we're actually incredibly thankful for the UK government. You guys really kind of put us on the map. There are a lot of resources in the UK. I think that could be used much more efficient in the future. We talk about food waste, we talk about packaging material, construction wood. I think that zero landfill can be reality. And we together, as an association with our partners, should make it possible. We are super excited for the clean growth strategy of the current administration, offering a long-term vision and framework for us to grow our business in the United Kingdom. My personal hope is that the United Kingdom, as an island nation, will be a blueprint of an efficient, highly sustainable energy grid that integrates multiple energy sources like solar, wind, tidal, and storage in a highly efficient energy grid. And we are really proud to be a small piece of that jigsaw puzzle that will be your future energy supply. The future of energy will be decentralized, and the UK still has the chance, and I deeply believe that, to become a leader in global decentralized energy technology. <laughs> Renewable energy and efficiency and the work of SEA will strengthen the UK industry, create jobs, and improve the environment for people all over the UK. It's a vital win-win situation, and I deeply believe that it's not a partisan issue or a political issue. It is just simply common sense. 
We are really looking forward to work with Leslie at the SCA Sustainable Energy Association to make sure that all of our voices will be heard in the future. I do believe that we who work in energy research to make our grid more reliable, who are writing the regulations to make our future greener, and who are building actively a sustainable energy future, need to make sure that our voices are heard and that we work strongly together, not solo against biomass, we are all in this thing together. The future will be 100% more efficient will be 100% more reliable. And I don't think as a country, it is not a choice between renewable or fossil. It is a choice between global leadership and losing. And I'm really proud to be here today to sponsor this event and maybe add a little bit to the support of the renewable energy industry as a whole in the United Kingdom. I want to thank our team in the UK that has grown from two people to over 200 in two years. What you guys have done in the UK has been close to an absolute miracle. And I want to thank you for inviting me up here. And if there's anything we can support to do your work as a sponsor in the future, as a member, you can always count on us. Thank you.